Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakura. Let's see what's going on here in Port Cavendish. Okay, so we can compile our port to port. We'll definitely do that. Though the Isle seems at present beyond the reach of the Admiralty's laws, that does not mean that the Admiralty lacks interest in their activities. Roses and Kings, you spend half a day observing the docks and note an astonishing number of and variety of ships. Was that a carnate trimaran nestled beside a vessel from the Iron Republic? The dock hands complain loudly that they have never been busier. The caddies talk ceaselessly and carelessly about smuggling and piracy. But even the most hardened zailer, zailers lower their voices when they mention the king. They go even quieter when they talk about the Rose Garden. You make careful notes. Perhaps the Admiralty will understand what they mean, even if you don't. Okay, and then we could walk in the garden. We won't do that. We could buy a shipment of red honey. Uh, should we do that? It's going to be 600 echoes. And we can sell our sunlight. Okay, so let's let's sell our sunlight first. And then we'll, we'll think about the red honey. Okay, so let's do this. Good price. Yes, yes, I'll pay. What is it? Quickly. You wait aside while your customer basks in the sunlight. Once it starts to fade, you re-enter the room and retrieve your box. So we got a box back with that one. Okay. Smoke and mirrors in back rooms and cellars and tangles behind warehouses. You make careful arrangements. The deal is only to take place at second hand. Your intermediary will meet theirs. Unfortunately, their intermediary palms off yours with an empty crate, not the original mirror catch box. You're 500 echoes richer, but you'll need another box if you're to do this run again. Okay. And then we'll just, that's the either or. So fail that one. We'll just go through the rest and fail that one. Okay, we got a good price. Um, uh, we got a good price again. And we fail that one. Okay, um, fail that one. And then that's that done. Okay, now let's buy a shipment of red honey. You could sell it for profit elsewhere if you were inclined to take your chances with the revenue men. The mellifluous sisters seem reluctant to sell the honey to you until you show her your silver key to the cage gardens. You are an int intimate of the pirate king, she exclaims. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Okay, so we get... Uh, we paid 600 echoes and we got the, the firkin of red honey. Okay, and we can't buy another one because we need, we'd have to kind of leave and come back, but we won't do that. Uh, then shop wise, we could do some stuff there, but we don't really want to. Okay, so let's leave here. Oh, hi there. Right, let's leave here and wait. Is that the ghost guy? Oh, it's not. It's not the ghost guy. Right, we're going to kill you. You are dead, buddy. You are absolutely dead. Take that one. Then take that one. That old fury. A sailor has run mad. She roams the ship, cudgel in hand, smashing comrades to the deck. She cries, he is angry. Oh, he is angry. Shoot her dead. Yeah, let's, let's just shoot her dead. Can't be doing with you, lady. A bitter end, your sailor's weapons roar and down she goes. You recite a hasty funeral for the poor soul and her wretched victim. But who will be next? So she did this while we're in the middle of a bloody fight. So imagine a funeral was very quick. It was like, blah, 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 yeah, great. She, yeah, she was great. Whatever. Yeah, chuck her overboard. Let's get on with the fight. And now look, this guy's running, trying to run away. There we go. Oh, don't put ourselves right in front of him. That was a stupid idea. There we go. Now we're behind him again. Good. And one more hit and he's done. There you go. Screw you. Yeah, you can go float down. Your your wreckage can sink on top of that 
um, traitor that killed one of our own. Okay, we're gonna investigate it. We get some supplies and some fuel, and then we get some Z soup. Okay, cheers to that. Now, let's head off. But right, that was a bit of fun. Awesome, some of our people, but hey, these things happen. Right, so the next place we're gonna go then, so we didn't go to the Fathom King. We're probably not going to go there now. We're probably gonna go here, here, probably up here and here as well, and make our way home. Yeah, that seems to be what I'm thinking. Doesn't mean that what I'm gonna do though. You, you should know that by now. Right, let's pop in there. We should get a port report before we do anything else. You can at least interview those who are leaving. That will have to do. A departing merchant gives you a confused account of crocodiles and honey cakes and something about ear blockage. To this, you add your own impressions about the street layout close to the port and the types of commerce there. When the lights are especially bright, it is possible to make out the details of the profile of that great stone face. Okay, and then. Because we're greedy, we're going to try and steal stuff again, I think. Okay, so we're going to go with Locust again. But I think we probably will have to at some stage. The next time we'll have to switch to another character because I think at this stage uh, they know too much about us with Locust. So let's visit the Flood, the flood Court first. Hi, Warder. The Flood Court is a long stone room with two ranks of columns on each side. Currently, the court is ankle deep in water, though water stains on the stone show that the flood has often reached higher, sometimes up to the height of your waist. In a raised niche at the far end of the room sits the statue of a man with the head of a ram. He holds a jar from which uh, water flows out onto the floor. Okay, uh, let's gather coin from the a very chancy challenge. Apparently people use it as a wishing well. Okay, do we have to fight for this? I guess so. We failed, okay, probably gonna kick that again. Take, you wait into the water and begin gathering coins. People watch you from behind their masks. Moomot looks uncertain. You're playing the role of Locust flawlessly, but these are sacred. You hesitate for just a moment. Your will wavering and that's enough. The others rush you and drive you out, but you are not made to leave the city at any rate. Okay. Um, let's end our performance and leave. We know that Moonmoth's not going to be too happy with that, but that's okay. And there are no shops for us to worry about. So we are going to leave and head off. Okay. So next port call is going to be where, give me a second actually, I want to, to get my phone, so I'm going to look something up. Right, so what I'm going to do is going to look up where the hell we're supposed to get these sapphires. Because if we know that I can make sure that I actually go to the port that it's supposed to be in. I'm hoping it's one that we're planning to go to anyway, but we'll have to see. Mm. 
Port Carnelian. We could buy them there. The Temple of Labors. Where else can you buy them? We could swap things from, we don't want to do that. Yeah, I think we need to go to Port Canadian. Right, well, we can do that. That's not too far out of the way. So on our way home, we can go the uh, demo Isle and then over there and then go up. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Now, so because of that, we know that we're going to go on to the mangrove college, I think. Yeah. Let's head on over that way. Speed up a little. Yeah, speed is at such a level that we just about just about miss out on on saving ourselves some fear. So an upgrade to the engine might be a good idea. Get that little bit of extra power. Okay, so we need to start coming down this way. The Melting Isles. Some sort of beetle is made of your morsel ship space. It's Magnus and Tenet in Perth. Well, everybody's been impertinent. Anyway, so, on this voyage. So, you kind of fit in with the rest of the people that we encountered her are on our crew. Okay, we can pop in there. Pick up a passenger. The Mangrove College is named for scholars and philosophers. They have long abandoned civilized comforts for life of the mind. Sometimes they want those civilized comforts back. Okay, so let's do that. Let's check our character. The principal's port Cecil. Black and white and silver. Please, take me there. Sooner, later, it doesn't matter. I know how complex the moves can be. Okay, so we're going to bring him to Port Cecil. Um, we could gather some supplies. We can unpick some mysteries. This move will convert items into secrets. Okay. Unlock with seven memories to this ensure. Okay, I don't think we can do either of those at the moment. Let's compile our port port. Sages, scholars, philosophers, naturalists, poets, dreamers. Here to pursue their rarefied ideals in the land of muddy fecundity. All should be well. The thinkers of the Mangrove College continue their untroubled and sedentary existence. New schools of philosophy are born and die like bubbles. Extraordinary poetries are written in the water. The occasional retired pirate tries and fails to get invited to the saloon. Or sorry, salon. I think I say saloons half the time I read that passage. Okay. But cheers to that. We've got a port port. Now, so we could gather supplies. We've got beach combing. We could eat, drink, and be merry. I think we're going to do that. The philosophers of the college are not hospitable, but their, this whole shoreline is bursting with fruit and edible fungus. Reach up and it falls into your hand. Pick it up and it's already fermented. An explosion of taste. Tart mor morals and moral tart. The salty tang of seaweed stew. A crawling berry that the locals assure you is a motile plant, not an insect. Eat your fill and drink contemplat contemplatively. Okay, we've done that. We're not going to do those. We're going to check the shops just because we're curious. And we're now going to leave.
And where are we going next? I want to go up to the Khan Ape. Okay. Yeah, I want to go to Khan Shadow Ape. Let's go a bit faster. And then hug along here. Then as soon as we get there, I think that's going to be the end of this one. And it's amazing. I've been playing this game for so long, but I know it's we're getting to the point where the where this series is actually going to end. It's a little bit sad, but I think it is going to happen sooner rather than later. And simply because the doing the underwater thing has unlocked so much stuff for us to do that we're getting through newer stuff. So we're going to probably just um, get through all the stuff that we can do in terms of the going actually under the undersea. And then we'll worry about after that, then the rest of the stuff that we're going to, we're going to look at. Okay. Let's get in here and that's the end of that one. So hope you have enjoyed and hope to see you all next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.